win the ring from Toronto, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, Christian. One must wonder what's going through Christian. from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, he is the world heavyweight champion, Randy Orton. Making his way to the ring from Silsby, Texas, weighing in at 418 pounds, the world's strongest man. champion brings a tag team competition is not something that can be learned overnight but that is a statement that pertains to both of these teams yeah now bro i've been part of many successful tag teams and you have to be able to know what your partner is actually thinking and doing at all times so, okay. at least for the team of orton christian they've been part of successful tandems for shameless and mark henry Primarily been singles competitors. Uh, Christian is just so talented. This match has gone his way incredibly fast. Oh, look at this. Got to hurt. The part of the tag team is to work together for the same success. When Mark Henry and Sheamus work together for success, so individual agendas get in the way. This could implode at any time. Yeah, think of what being the superstar that pinned Randy Orton in this match could do for that man's career. Mark Henry and Sheamus certainly looking for an interesting tag team combination. It will be interesting, Cole, especially since Sheamus and Mark Henry are more known as singles competitors. That did it. He's putting those educated feet to good use. later on SmackDown and will be up for the in two weeks and over the limit. Man, it seemed like the World Championship was experiencing a case of hot potato. But Randy Orton seems determined to restore stability. He drops the elbow. Drives the elbow down again. Extra slow getting back to his base here. Oh, the Viper's not off to the best of starts. Orton needs to find a reversal or a counter here. Can you actually mention this? Randy Orton needs to shift the momentum here before he really gets into trouble. Yeah, Randy Orton's been on the receiving end of some offense that, if it continues, will put him in a bad, bad way. And he hits the drop kick. What impact. And this is a unique set of circumstances. In this tag match, Randy Orton is looking at three top contenders to his world title, one of which is his tag team partner. King, it is a unique set of circumstances. You have to wonder if Randy Orton has been looking over his shoulder since he woke up today. Well, for the Bible to be in a tag match with essentially his top three contenders, I think Orton won't feel safe until this night is over, and he's holding the World Heavyweight Championship on his charter bus. Randy Orton's going to be looking across the ring at his opponent, Sheamus and Mark Henry, and checking for the whereabouts of his partner, Christian. Hey, this is a bit of a surprise. Mark Henry's already weakened. I wonder how long this will last. The world's strongest man is on his heels, but it's going to take a lot more than that to keep him down. Yeah, Mark Henry's not off to his usual dominant start. I don't know if this is really hurting the world's strongest man or just making him mad. He's enjoying this. Can Randy Orton really trust Christian in this tag match? You know, we 
we've seen unlikely pairs, but these two have become bitter rivals. I don't think the Viper completely trusts anyone, but we'll see if the mutual respect he and Christian seem to have for one another is enough to keep them together as a team. This man, watch it! No way! What a move from Randy Orton! That's how you impress the WWE Universe, folks. Oh boy, Sheamus is dazed here. Sheamus on the receiving end to start things off here. You can bet he's ready to turn things around and back. Yeah, I know we have a lot of match left, but this is uh, not how Sheamus wants to start off. When Sheamus gets on his roll, he's so tough to stop. He's not been able to get out of the blocks at all in this match. Sheamus might be wondering what hit him and how many times. The Celtic Warrior's been looking to make a name for himself on SmackDown. He needs to show some signs of life here before it's too late.